In this example, a plastic siphon hose of length 7 meter is used to drain 15 degrees Celsius water out of a tank. So based on this temperature, you can go to the back of your book and find out the value of um, kinematic viscosity, which would be 1.14 times 10 to the power negative 6 squared meters divided by second. Um, flow rate 1.5 liters per second. What diameter is needed? So because we are going to find the diameter of the pipe, this is a case 3 problem or a design problem. All other um, variables are given to us. We are going to assume that the only head loss is um, um, basically friction head loss and no minor head losses. The difference between this problem and the problems that I solved in previous uh, class is that we are going to use Swami and Jane formula to find resistant factor or friction factor F. And also we are going to use a spreadsheet instead of uh, going back and forth in Moody diagram. Using a spreadsheet will make our job a little bit easier and also, of course, faster. So the first step is to write um, energy equation. I'm going to write energy equation between these two sections, call this section 1 and call this section 2. And of course, energy equation, by now you are very familiar with that. It's the summation of elevation head plus all the other head that I'm going to write. And then instead of HL or head loss, I included Darcy Weisbach equation. Now, I'm going to actually simplify this equation or reorganize different terms in this equation and write it as Z1 minus Z2 equals velocity. So first of all, notice that the diameter does not change in this pipe. So velocity in the pipe is equal to velocity 2, right? So I can take the velocity out of the bracket over here. And it would be 1 plus FL over D. Okay, so remember that we want to write in the design problems, we want to write this equation in terms of diameter, right? So to do that, we need to write velocity in terms of diameter too. So velocity in the pipe is equal to Q over area. An area can be written as pi over 4 divided uh, times d to the power 2, right? So I'm going to actually put that into this equation, and this is velocity squared. So it would be something like this, z1 minus z2, and then a velocity term would be q to the power 2 divided by and then 2g, and the rest is the same. Okay, have this equation in mind. I'm going to call this equation equation star. Now, I can also write Reynolds number 2. So Reynolds number can be written as velocity times diameter divided by nu. And remember that we, we can write velocity in terms of Q and diameter. So in other words, you can take this and insert it in here as well. Okay? Which would be Q to the power 2 oh, or d to the power 2 over here, you know, and it can be simplified and written as q over d times kinematic viscosity. Okay, and also remember that we are going to use Swami and Jane equation. Let me write down Swami and Jane equation really quick. So 
resistance factor based on Swami and Jane equation can be calculated as 0 0.25 log again we have ks k sub s 3.7 and then we have d diameter plus 5.74 Reynolds number to the power 0 0.9 and the whole thing is to the power 2 okay so um, remember that before in the Moody diagram we guessed F and then we calculated we went based off we went based off that now uh, in this case, because we are going to work in a spreadsheet, we need to develop a table in a spreadsheet and work in that table. So I'm going to stop here and then go to Excel and show you how to set up a table and how to work with that. So I have written all the equations that I derived in previous slide. This was the star equation in orangish box. The Reynolds number is in green box and the Swami and Jane equation to find F resistant factor is in uh, the blue box. Now the table that I've set up all the variables that I have the value of are in green. For example, I had the value of Q or flow rate in liters per second. I converted this to uh, cubic meters per second by divide, dividing it by 1000. Length, for example, I had the value of D is the value of uh, diameter, which I don't have the values so I need to find. And then area, velocity, and all the other values are the values that I need to calculate. Okay, so you need to set up, whenever you are doing like a problem in Excel sheet, you need to set it up like this. Like all the variables that I have listed are over here. Notice that I have two variables called LHS and RHS. So left hand side, or right-hand side of equation star. You can see the left-hand side is Z1 minus Z2, and the right-hand side is the other side of this equation. Okay? Now, what I want to do is very simple. Instead of guessing F, like what I used to do, this time I am going to guess D. Why do I do that? It's very simple. Based on uh, this set of equations that I have, it does make sense for me to guess D. So if I guess a D, what happens over here? So D will go over here. I can calculate, uh, 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 basically, I can put D into this equation. Left-hand side is already known, right? Because I have the value of capital H and I have the value of H. Capital H is 5 meters and small h is 0 0.5 meters. So Z, uh, basically, Z1 minus Z2 is 5.5 meters. That's already known. Here, Q is known. D, if I guess a D, then it is known. F is not known, but if I guess a D, then I can go to into this equation, right, and find the value of F. You might ask, how do I know about Reynolds number? Then again, if I guess a value of D, Reynolds number could be uh, found too. Okay, now, so you can guess whatever value of d that you want this time it doesn't matter i'm going to just do 0 0.1 <clears throat> excuse me and now based on this value of d calculate all the rest of cells that are white for example area would be pi over 4 times d to the power 2 right so i'm going to say divided by 4 times um, D, which is C3 cell. This is C3 to the power 2. Perfect. Okay. This is the value of A. Now, next is the value of velocity. Velocity is Q divided by area, right? So it will be equal to Q divided by area. There we go. Now, Kinematic viscosity, I've already input it. Um, KS, K sub S, because our pipe is a plastic siphon, plastic siphon doesn't have a roughness. So K sub S is zero, and then K sub S over zero would be zero divided by D, which is also zero. Reynolds number, 
I can calculate Reynolds number based on this equation over here, which is Q, so Q divided by, I'll continue it over here, um, pi divided by 4 times D times kinematic viscosity and then close the brackets this is the Reynolds number that I get and now the value of F I have K sub S over D and I have Reynolds number I can calculate F based on Swami and Jane I'm going to write the equation really quick I'm going to I'm going to write it down and then resume the video and as you can see, I wrote down the equation for um, F over here, Swami and Jane, and calculated F to be 2.7 times 10 to the power negative 2 over here, okay? Um, now, I have the left-hand side of the equation. I need to calculate the right-hand side of the equation. If my guess D is correct, then left-hand side and right-hand side, they should be equal. In other words, LHS minus RHS should be zero. So first of all, let's calculate right hand side. I have all the values. It is Q to the power two. Two to the power two. Divided by, again, I'm gonna pause the video, resume it when I'm done. As you can see, I put the equation over here, the right-hand side equation over here, and I calculated right-hand side. It's 3.5 times 10 to the power negative 3. Negative three. Um, now, as you can see, left-hand side and right-hand side is not basically equal. It means that my guess for D was incorrect. If I calculate left-hand side minus right-hand side, I can calculate the difference. I want this difference to be zero, right? I'm going to highlight it over here. So I want this red to be zero. Normally, you would go ahead and change this and guess it until it's right. However, because we are using a spreadsheet, then it's we can ask computer to do this for us. What we do is we go under Data tab in Excel and then under... Uh, forecast group there is a what if analysis click on that and there is one button called goal seek goal seek so make sure that correct cell here is selected we want this cell which is m3 to be what to be zero right we want m m m3 which is the difference between left hand side and right hand side to be zero by changing what by changing our diameter so we are letting computer to change our diameter to find the best diameter that makes left hand side minus right hand side equal to zero. And then when you click OK, you will see that it will do some uh, trials, trial and error, and it will find a number very, very close to zero. Look at this number. This number is 7.3 times 10 to the power negative 6. Very small. So now take a look at left hand side and right hand side. They are basically the same thing, right? Okay, so and now you will see that your diameter is the design diameter is equal to 0 0.0214 meters. Okay, so instead of doing this trial and error by yourself, you will let computer to do this for you. This is a design problem and how you can actually solve this design problem. Um, using a spreadsheet and Swami and Jane formula.